Well, good morning. We're here in Arizona now. We're going to go to the uh, Chiricahua Chawa, uh, National Monument. Uh, it's got some really unique rock formations and stuff, so we're going to do, I think it's about a four or five mile hike there before heading back to Wilcox, Arizona. So come along and join us. First stop was the visitor center to get some information about the different trails and possibilities. We ran into these Mexican Blue Jays there. After filling our water bottles up at Bonita Canyon Campground, we headed up the road for about a 15-20 minute drive up to the Echo Canyon parking lot. Well, we're leaving on the Echo Canyon Trail here. It's a pretty popular canyon trail. It's the little loop. It's about 3.3 miles through the rocks there. And as you can see, it's a small parking lot. It's full now. We got in there, was about three spots left. So just beware. I guess this, this is the slot. Famous. I don't know. It looks like they might have carved it out, if you ask me. On the sides here. Artificial slot. Echo Park, I'm not sure what that is. I'll take a little. It's a nice place to sit and chill, have an apple. Creek's just running just a tiny bit. Hear that? It's quiet. I think the people turned around and went back. We were about a mile or so into our hike, and I think people might turn back after those spectacular rocks up there. Well, I think we're getting right down to the end of this uh, Echo Canyon. We're going to go around, and then we'll head on to the other canyon, I guess the uh, canyon to the south east of this one. So, so far it's been pretty spectacular. People say to do this counterclockwise. I can see why. It's pretty steep coming down through there, so you'd be going up it if you went clockwise. And I we'll find out if the other canyon is a little smoother. Well, indeed, here we are at the bend, going back up the uh, next canyon slot. Down that way is the visitor center. You can actually hike up that canyon if you want, and up here and then around this. You can also hike that canyon over there. It's a longer hike, kind of looks like more of the same. So I think we're going to skip that. Probably would make it about a 12 mile loop.
not sure how well you can see it over there, but there's sort of a moss on the uh, rocks over there on the north facing slope. Mushroom Rock Trail. That goes around behind, I think. And this is the one we want back to the Echo Canyon Trail parking lot. So, not quite a mile, but looks like it put some nice steps in for us. Very well maintained trail, though. I mean, it's nice to have the hiking poles. There's been some spots like there that you, you need them for keeping your balance. Oh, well, you can go up to the uh, lookout point, but I thought we might do that, but I don't think we're gonna skip it because the sun's gonna be in your face if you're gonna try to take any pictures. So, we had about a quarter mile left. Kind of lost our rocks. Oh, what a great hike. I was just telling Julie, I think it's a, for me, probably a top 25 hike of my life. Pretty amazing. Well, I thought I'd wrap it up here as we're just getting close to the parking lot. There's probably going to be a lot of people there. Yeah, going counterclockwise is definitely the way to do it. Less strenuous uphill. It's the same amount, obviously, but it's more gradual. It's a beautiful view back in the back canyon there because it's wide open. The more spectacular part is the Echo Canyon from the parking lot. So if you're looking for a quick hike to see it, you can go about a half mile, three quarters of a mile down and come back up. Or if you want to go three and a half miles like we did, just go all the way and keep going around the back. It's nice once you get back there, you don't see any people. And uh, it's a nice gentle hike on the way back. So until our next adventure, we'll see ya. As soon as we broke out our food for a snack at the end of our hike, all the Mexican Blue Jays came to visit. We drove to the end of the road to Masay Point and enjoyed the views and got a few pictures. After the viewpoint, we decided to head to Wilcox, Arizona to the Coronado Vineyards for some wine tasting and some dinner. The wine was really good and the dinner was fabulous, one of the best we had on our trip. Our hike of the Echo Canyon Loop turned out to be right about four miles. Going the counterclockwise direction was definitely the best choice. This is definitely an amazing hike, so if you're in the southeast part of Arizona, definitely stop by and give it a try. Thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment below and subscribe so you can stay current with our adventures.